The Tokyo Olympics are only two days away, and reporters are already on the ground running in Japan. Today, we are joined live with Olympic reporter Justin Surinzi to talk about his experience so far and the latest information on what's happening in Tokyo right now. Justin, how are you doing today? Oh, really good. Uh, Maya, it's a thrill to be here in Tokyo and reporting for all your viewers out there in Monroe, KTVE. Uh, just, it's just a privilege and honor to be on the morning show. Awesome. Well, tell us about your experience so far, everything from COVID testing to the foods that you've gotten to try. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's been strenuous. Uh, it's been a necessary evil, but uh, obviously one that you can understand, right? At Tokyo just today, over 1,800 cases of COVID-19. So uh, when you think about it, you know, the media having to go through all these protocols, it makes sense. And a little bit of what we've had to do is uh, COVID testing. The first three days that we arrived here in Japan, right away at the airport on top of it all, and then the first three days following that, COVID saliva test to monitor our, you know, uh, our bodies. Uh, temperatures have to be under 37.5 degrees Celsius uh, constantly. Wearing masks, we can't go anywhere without a mask. The only time we can is when we're reporting on the air. So this has been lovely. But uh, today was the first day where we didn't have to have a COVID saliva test. Uh, the the people here, the committee, also tracking our whereabouts, tracking our movements through an app. We have to have our location turned down. Um, so that way, if a reporter tests positive, they know each and every person of the media that may have been in close contact with them. They're doing an amazing job to make sure that the city is safe, the residents, the reporters, the media and staff, and the athletes. So uh, a lot of protocols. We'll have another COVID test on day 10. And uh, right now, we're in a soft quarantine for about 14 days. No sightseeing, only to and from Olympic-approved venues. And uh, there is one caveat, a 15-minute free break where we can go to 7-Eleven across the street or a, a family mart down in the, in the basement of our hotel. And that feels like a kid in the candy store when you're not able to go anywhere uh, in such a lovely place like Tokyo. So you talked about the food, amazing full meals at this 7-Eleven and Family Mart where you wouldn't expect it like in the States. But we're talking full-on sushi meals prepared by chefs, uh, delightful, delicious. The food here in, in Japan, even at the convenience store, is top-notch. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Justin. We definitely look forward to hearing more from you as the Olympics go on. So you won't be hearing seeing the last of us. <laughs> yes.